Hi everyone, welcome to Research MD. This is uh, Dr. Pramil. I work as a Chief Medical Officer in the United States, also Associate Professor of Medicine. We've been doing a series of lectures looking at the alternative medicine, how to tackle diabetes. Okay, I think we talked about the, the problem the world is facing every year, the diabetes goes up. You know, everybody's worried, what's going to happen to my blood sugar? By year 2050, I think 30 to 40 percent of the population could become diabetes, okay? And when you talk about, there's a lot of medicine today in the world um, to treat diabetes, right? But 30 percent of the people have some kind of alternative, alternative medicine also to decrease the blood sugar. Today, our purpose is going to look at yoga. How does it decreases the blood sugar. So we're going to go deep into, look at the pathophysiology or the physiology. How does yoga help us to decrease the blood sugar? That's the whole purpose of the talk, okay? Now, there's three pathways we're going to talk about. The first pathway decreases activation and reactivity of hypothalamic pituitary hormone. That's involved in like three hormones, like growth hormone, catecholamines, okay, and glucagon. Those hormones can usually, when you get stressed out, that can go up, your blood sugar goes up. By, uh, by decreasing this activation, those hormones, uh, glucagon, growth hormone, and catecholamine level can go down, so your blood sugar can also go down. And um, it also adrenal axis and also sympathetic activity. When, uh, when we get stress, okay, our sympathetic system functions, and then that, when, uh, when, when you have like decreased sympathetic activities, improve your sleep, less stress, and that improve our metabolic profile and that the main word is it decrease insulin resistance okay you need the insulin for the blood glucose to enter into the cell okay otherwise it's going to stay in the blood so you want the glucose when the blood enter to the cell you need insulin and a lot of a lot of us have insulin resistance but doing yoga the main thing is like you can decrease the insulin resistance okay so increase glucose tolerance, decrease oxidative stress, and overall you have a better control of the blood sugar and the diabetes. That's the first pathway. Second pathway, there is vagal stimulation, increase parasympathetic. Okay? When you increase parasympathetic, it can it decrease the stress. And when you decrease the stress, you know, I mean it decreases the insulin resistance, or increase glucose tolerance and all of that. Okay? So the pathway, the three pathways, one is the other one, release of endorphin, serotonin and dopamine. What does it do? It, again, it decreases less stress and improves sleep and the mood. Pretty much a lot of things about, um, you know, the stress level goes up, the mood goes up. And all of this kind of relates to in decrease insulin resistance, so the glucose enter from the blood into the cell. Okay, so mainly three pathways. Uh, pathway one, you got pathway two, and pathway two. So if you are a diabetes, I think it's very, very important to have a um, regimen of um, yoga so that we can have a better control of blood sugar, okay? Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. God bless.